What's up guys? Today is Saturday morning, so hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, Matco Michael's outside and um, you know he's going to have a lot of cool stuff on the truck, so I'm looking forward to going on there and taking you guys with me. But one of the things I want to talk to you about is, um, you know, a couple of days ago we did the uh, breast cancer video where I talked about, you know, why I support breast cancer. And for the last two years, I've tried to push it on my channel because, you know, what Matco's doing with the tools for the cause is an amazing thing. And after the video released, I've had a lot of interesting stories and comments and, you know, different posts and stuff like that. And I received a couple of emails that was pretty impressive. And I'd like to share one with y'all real quick before we get on the truck because this is a cool story. So we'll take a look at this email. And it is from Douglas Craft. And it says, hey Clay, I thought I'd share this with you. Hope you don't mind. The company I work for and have for the last nine years is all too familiar with breast cancer. My boss's wife, which is the boss lady, was diagnosed in 2010, 2011, and been battling for, for years back and forth with doctors and surgeries and chemotherapy and so on. They were many ups and downs along the way. She finally went into remission and was declared cancer free in late 2015, 2016. We definitely go all out around here during October. The fact that a company like Maco and is doing their tools for the college program is absolutely wonderful. As long as the budget allows, I will continue to buy paint tools and stuff from them. That's actually one of the biggest reasons I pushed my Matco dealer to start coming by. Well, that and all of your videos about how awesome the ratchets are. I've always been a craftsman and snap-on guy, and let's just say after some of my, my bills from Matco, my wife isn't too fond of you. Sorry. Sorry. All jokes aside, this is a great cause and I'm glad you're supporting it and sharing it with your YouTube family. I'll see if I can get some pictures attached so you can see the truck that I've been in honor of being a part of building for my company. Super awesome story and I'm glad he shared it, but check out this truck because it is amazing. You can see super cool Peterbilt there. They did a really cool job with that. And it's owned and operated by Neil Pool Wreckers out of Odessa, Texas. And Wreckers is spelled R-E-K-E-R-S. And he said that was spelled wrong for a reason. And there's a purpose and a funny story behind it. So that's pretty cool. Douglas, I appreciate you sharing that video or the pictures with us to include in the video. I did ask him permission to share it. And he said that was cool. So like always, guys, thanks for doing that. It's pretty cool. So let's get on the truck and see what Matt Co. Michael's got. Come on. Got the boss lady again. Boss lady is here. Well, is she the deal maker or are you the deal maker? Who's the deal maker of the firm? Uh, you talking about yesterday? <laughs> or, uh, Every day. I guess it varies. I guess it's. Uh, so, who's the one selling all the toolboxes? Is what I want to know. Because I think the gray one was gone yesterday on Instagram. That one sold itself. Yeah. Um, I haven't had too many boxes do that. But that kid literally walked on the truck and one of the other co-workers was like, well, I'll, I'll tell him. He said, hey, can you get him in a box? I said, well, you know, I, yeah, I can run your credit and, and see. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, credit, if credit's there, yeah, I can do it. Right. And uh, he come back approved for it and there was no slowing down. None. So. Cool. Well, I seen it was gone. Well, and see, that's the thing. Look, we, we had that on the truck, what, three weeks? Every week we thought we were working the deal on that box. Like we, we'd get so far and something would happen. I think the so top far. drawers would sold that box. I think so too. Yeah, we. I talked to some other distributors in my district, and there's one that I know of does a top box on every one of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he uh, he got a really good deal on it. We made him a deal. He was a he's a student at one of the local colleges, so. I can't do the deals that, that Maco can do, but Maco also can't put a top, they don't do the, the add-ons for the students. Yeah. So he really wanted that top drawer, so I cut him a heck of a discount and 
well, he, he got the box, he got the top drawer, uh, and a thousand dollars worth of free tools. Or he may have stopped just short of a thousand. It was right there at it, but cool. yeah, we, he was he was tickled pink. So <laughs> he looked like it. That, that box fit him well too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, he's he's supposed to come out. Uh, he's in his first year uh, in a diesel last class. Year. Uh, huh? Last year. No, he said he'd go back next year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's going into his last year. Yeah, going into yeah. So either way, he's he's supposed to graduate being a diesel tech in the next year or two. So he'll have a box to definitely grow in. Uh, yeah. He's not going to outgrow that one anytime soon. If he does, he's buying a whole lot of tools from me, and that's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. Sell him a top box to go on top right. of that drawer. Uh, you if go. I have to, that'll be fine. I, that that won't bother me a bit. But let's talk about them cool shades you got on. Oh, those shades were actually those at one of our awesome. uh, sales meeting, and I ordered them, put them on the truck. Uh, but they didn't make it on the truck. They made it. They made it to my front porch, and when I opened them, I was like, "Yep, those are mine." Yeah, those are cool. Um, I like the blue indention there, and mm -hmm. then. Um, I like the gray and white, so yeah. I'd been wanting a pair. Uh, I had a black pair that was solid black with the black lenses, and I'd been wanting a pair with prisms, and I just couldn't find the ones that I liked, and whatever it might be, they popped mm -hmm. up. My I, wife bought me, mine are just like that, the white with the prism lenses, yeah. but mine don't have the gray on them. They got yeah. the black rubber. I like them. So I, I really like those. I, I, I've worn more. I had, uh, I had a different pair, but I, they look cool. They they, but I just they didn't fit me like I like them to. Yeah. So those, those work. fit good. I like the way they feel. Those are really comfortable glasses. Well, we've had a busy, busy week. Been Man, busy. that's a hoss of a hammer right there. We actually sold one one uh, bigger than that. It was a uh, twelve pound, and it stood about waist high. Um, Holy cow! I ordered that one for the guy. He said, "Hey, I need a big dead blow hammer." I said okay. I looked and I said, "Well, that's a big, uh, that's a that's a big dead blow hammer." So, uh, <laughs> ordered that one and then come in. He's like, "You got one just a little bigger?" I was like, yeah, "I might." So I looked. I said, "Yeah, I got one that's twelve pounds." He said, "Order that one." That's so I ordered it. Right he took it, and uh, I'd hate to know I had to use that every day. But if I had to, it's nice to know I have it. But yep. He works on heavy machinery. I don't know what he's, I call it a sledgehammer. I know yeah, it's not. Sledgehammers is like, I, I wouldn't want to run a hammer all day. Yeah. A hammer or an ax or a shovel, that's way yeah. too much work for well, me. Well, I know, I know what I sold him was a dead blow, but I called it a sledgehammer. That thing, yeah. like I said, was waist high, 12 pounds. I mean, it was, you know, I considered that Thor's hammer and when the other one come in, I, I decided that's why Thor was no longer here. <laughs> so, Man, you got some cool Matco jackets? Our Matco jackets came in. Uh, wasn't I ordered a, I ordered those, those back nice. in July, I think. But I just ordered some more um, last month, so I should have several jackets this year. Um, those look we good. got our hoodies in already. We got our jackets in. We got our Boggins in. I haven't got my Bluetooth Boggins in yet, but they are coming. Yeah, um, those are cool. And then we really wanted to, of course, we all know that we're uh, having a little trouble getting enough toolboxes for everybody. So while we had the opportunity, we thought we'd display the tools for a cause. It just happened at the right time. So we have our tools for a cause shirts and stuff. And mm -hmm. we're going to have a couple of tools for cause hats coming in and some other stuff. So, yeah. These are those face masks, aren't they? they? Those are the face masks. You got any of them? Is that the only ones you got? No, I got you one okay. set beside here. Cool. Uh, I've got your shirt set aside there. And uh, your awesome. hat still hasn't come in, but when it comes in, I'll bring it to you. Good deal. So you got something new up here. Yeah, this is what we talked about last week. I didn't have anything but a picture last week to show you. And then, believe it or not, they come in that evening. So <laughs> I should have swung by UPS and picked it up, but that's a lot harder than what you think. But this is going to be um, this is going to be your T50. So nice long, uh, extended out. Uh, then you got your swivel your impact so that to me that's key um, the fact that you can put it in an impact driver yeah. you know we always have the question anytime they put um, like the spark plug sockets anytime they extend them out our first question is well can I put them on impact mm -hmm. well I don't recommend doing 
so, uh, spark plugs on the impact for multiple reasons, but if, if you want to, that is what it is. But these here, there's no question asked. It says right on the box that they're impact grade. Right. Um, they're, they're not going to go, you're not going to have any stupid, crazy size. You know, you're not going to have uh, your big torques, but up to 50, I mean, that's pretty good size, you know, and for most most jobs well, that we would see. When when the new tool comes out, I try to think about who I can push these to or who I can, you know, show them to, who would use them the most. I can see this being key in both my mechanical and my auto body mm -hmm. because, like, all your door striker and stuff, most of them are torques. So this would be well to get into them. Yeah. Um, but then also you've got uh, air boxes on like your Arcadias and stuff that are torques, mm -hmm. and you're always having to put extensions and stuff on them. And then some, of, and in some of the locations with air boxes, you need that little bit of a swivel. Just so, that little bit. Yeah. yeah, and you put that. Um, I know we've got the the spring style now for the chrome swivels. Um, well, we've showed those in a video, but even even that uh, before that your swivel you'd put your socket on there and, and it would automatically fall where you didn't want it yeah the, the spring style keeps that from happening but we've went a step further and kind of eliminated the need for it so much with the torques uh, but now window regulators they have these so like i said i, I can see on both sides mm -hmm. uh, i don't i haven't worked as much uh on big trucks but i'm sure there's somewhere that, oh yeah that you yeah. could use this so no other tool truck has it right now that, that we're aware of. So to, to be first to the market on it, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I've, I've kind of had them by my computer all week. I haven't showed them to nobody because normally if I put them out, they, <laughs> they're gone. Uh, yeah. the, the lot that we showed off last week, which I got another one in last night, but it sold at the next shop last week. So mm -hmm. I had it up for the video, one shop, and then that was it. So That's cool. The, I feel like these are going to do the same thing. I didn't want them to just disappear on me, so we set these to the side. Uh, but I'm sure somebody will I try to get it quick, fast, and in a hurry. That's it. But. Well, what do you think about the flash sales that Matco's been doing? That's, that's something that's pretty cool. The flash sales are awesome. One of the flash sale things that I only have one left of is right back here. Uh, I don't know that I got it on, but uh, they put those, you don't kill that oh, light for just a second. Man. They put those on last week. Those are normally over $300. Holy cow. They put those on sale for 169 So they only let me get three of them, but I ordered three of them. Man, I got one left. Cool. And it's 169 169 Dude, I gotta have that. Like, I mean, I've, there that's, ain't no question. Awesome, I've man. got to have that. So, uh, we've had that. I didn't know where to display that at. Well, I tell you, a perfect spot <laughs> right in that shop of Yeah. Because that uh, is so cool, dude. We, I love that. We were looking on the shop. We, we tried to hang it like I do my uh, hood lights. And I told her, I said, I don't want it. And see, the, the thing about it is it looks kind of... Uh, like a dull color, but when you peel that back, it's a nice oh, yeah. shiny. Yeah, yeah, I want that, man. So we, uh, like I said, I only, I was only able to order three, <laughs> so I ordered three. I definitely like that. That is so cool. But yeah, that's something that they. Yeah, uh, yeah I want So that. the flash cell, I've been loving it. I've been paying attention to it. Um, I've took advantage of just about every one that's came of available. Uh, that's just one of those things that they had the idea to do it, and I love it. You yeah, know. man. So if you guys aren't following Matco on Instagram, y'all need to follow them. Do they do it on Facebook too? Yes, they do it on Facebook or too. Facebook. Uh, that's so. where I actually saw that one at. I I stopped on a lunch break, and they sent it to us the day before in an email. And I'm not the best at reading emails, but uh, I was on Facebook and it popped up. I was like, man, I like that light. And then it yeah. said 169. And I was like, holy cow. Like I had no idea how big it was. That yeah, that is awesome. Well, see, and that's that's the thing. Like our our Maco Tools Eagle here, when we ordered it, we thought it was gonna be bigger. Yeah, it turned out the perfect size for us. But and and we sold a couple. But you know, we we thought it was gonna be bigger. So when I ordered those, I was like, you know, if it's this little small light, one sixty mine might be too much. But man, I, I love you know, that right there. That is the coolest thing man, ever. That's, that's that's awesome. I I like that one. Yeah, but I'm hooked on that now. I gotta have it. I'm proud you uh, 
like, oh, well, well that one's already sold. I'd be like, oh, man. No, uh, we, <laughs> have, cool. we have two that's gone. Um, I'm not going to lie, I kept one of the three that I could sell. I, I would, um, too. That is cool, man. I've been told the places I can't put it, but that's okay. Well, now, let me back up and say this. You remember last year, it may have been three years ago, when Snap-on came out with the Squire bubble glass clock. It looked like it was made in the 50s or whatever. I bought one. And Bill bought one. Well, Bill bought, put his in the shop. I was like, hmm, well, if he's already got his in the shop, because I didn't know he was going to buy one. Like, yeah. I bought it, and he's like, i got to have one, too. I had plans on putting mine above the toolbox. So in our living room, we kind of got, like, antique farm equipment and uh, just a lot of cool old, like, on one of my walls, I got an old international tractor badge that come off the side of an 806 International. And, uh... I told my wife, I said, that light would actually go pretty good with all this stuff. And I got the green light to hang it there, and that light has never been turned off. It's been on since the day I got it. Yeah. Um, so. Our living room is not that um, that style. It's, it's, she took it a different style, so she told me real quick it could be in the living room. So <laughs> I tried. Uh, she did tell me some places I could hang it, but. Uh, I plan cool. on building. Uh, I tell you, when your little boy gets older, he's gonna want that in his room. So I don't. Where's my phone? Because at? he, uh, you know, he's a tool lover. So not only is it tool lover, he loves this truck. Period. So I don't know if I got a picture of it, but if I do, I'll show you. I'm looking um, forward when he gets a little older, where he start riding with dad. Oh, he's a mess. A uh, bright in my butt. He wants to drive constantly. <laughs> um, he's gonna be taking this thing over for long. So the other night, I was um, I was burning boxes because, of course, we get a bunch of boxes of this, and I, you were actually stocking the truck. Um, I think this is the actual night that we got the lights in, but I'm coming to back towards the truck. And this is him. He's got himself in the driver's seat, and he is just a driving away. Yeah, look at that. So uh, I come out of the house this morning, and he was doing the same thing. It don't take him a second to get from back here to up there. <laughs> we have to block the the stairs because he likes. He has a fascination of climbing. Everything right now. My little girl has a yeah. uh, Mickey Mouse uh, kitchen, table. kitchen table. Well, he wants to be on top of it stand that's that's what he wants to do so we have to block the stairs because he'll want to climb down and but he'll climb in that seat and he'll drive and every morning that's what he wants to do yeah that's cool uh, he wants to turn left for some reason he'll i guess that's the only way he knows the blinker he go, be a race he'll, car throw driver. That, he'll throw that blinker in the left turn and the next thing you know he's just sitting there just to go and so yeah. he um he'll blow the horn and he'll he'll have a good time so <laughs> That is now. awesome. It's gonna be fun watching him grow up around this, you know. So, I, he already a has a fascination. I I found a couple screwdrivers that I guess that she's uh, childproofed. The uh, the ends are taped in black tape and stuff. So, mm -hmm. I was looking for a flathead the other day. I'm like, where's my flathead? And my oldest daughter brought it to me in black tape. I was like, what is this? She goes, Mama did it though, because I reckon he likes playing with it. So, he's already got a fascination with my tools. There you go. He rearranges my sockets and everything, so. <laughs> that's fun. He goes missing. He's in my tool drawer. It's all of these little memories right here that's going to be, when you get old and he's grown, about the time he's ready to start having kids, it's going to be the parts you remember. Yeah. Because, man, I think back of my little boys and all the little funny stuff that they did, you know, and you'll never get that back. Oh, well. It just means you get old, I guess, at that point. That's right. See, I'm looking forward to grandchildren now. That's right. I guess so. you go from children to grandchildren. I'm, and I'm going to, it's going to be hell on mom and daddy's, I like to tell them. <laughs> I'm going to buy the loudest toys that they have at Walmart, the greediest sand, you know, that sand, molding sand stuff they got, Yeah, and Play-Doh, magic markers. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> can't wait <laughs> and make sure they got a mouthful of bubble gum every time i let them out to go back so i've already got this planned out that so. sounds like you've got it planned well i guess we're gonna get our shirts and our face mask and our super awesome light up there and uh 
that's gonna be it for today like always guys thanks for watching if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools discount codes over here like i say hit the thumbs up and just click click that subscribe button you guys Hello. have a great week and we will catch y'all next time see ya that's cool but what matco's doing is even cooler you guys get behind us tools for the call stuff